Hello. Um, so I'm going to show you how to get the SPD SX software on your Mac because it's kind of confusing. So when you Google just Roland SPD SX software, it'll bring you to their support page on the Roland website with updates and drivers. <clears throat> and this list is kind of confusing. So the system program, that's, the, that's for the SPD SX itself. That is the firmware for the actual hardware unit. That has already been updated on ours, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, then you'll see there's drivers listed here below below that, and there's tons of them. Any of them that say Windows, unless you have a Windows, just ignore the ones that say Windows. So you'll come down until you start seeing the Mac OS X ones, or Mac OS ones, and then you'll just find whatever Mac OS version you have. You can go up here to the Apple about this Mac, and then it shows you here. Um, so I have 11.6. So I would have to download this driver right here. So find whichever Mac OS version you have, download the driver for it, and then, uh, or click, click on it. Uh, so let's say, we'll go to this driver. Um, you'll click on this page and it'll open up installation instructions. Just, um, it's pretty easy, they're pretty easy to follow, but just make sure to follow them. Um, I don't know how, like, strict it is that you do everything in this exact order so you'll hit agree and download the file and go through all that um, then you'll want to go back to this page and come down and find the wave manager now this is the actual software that you'll use to like you'll open the wave manager when you have the SPDSX connected to your computer and the wave manager is what you'll use to like change pads, uh, put different sounds on different pads, and all that kind of stuff. The driver that you just downloaded is only to make the wave manager compatible um, with Mac. And so you'll find that you'll do the same thing. You'll find whichever wave manager fits your specific Mac OS version. So like I would download the Mac OS 11 slash 12. So you click on whichever one you need, and then again it'll have uh, instructions and then at the bottom I agree download and then just follow these instructions um, and you should be good to go the only other thing is um, that I wanted to point out is when you're downloading the driver um, let's go to a driver page it's, uh, look here so when you download this driver, you'll see that it says here, to use this driver, you must set the USB mode of the SPDSX to audio slash MIDI. That is a setting in um, the SPDSX itself. That you, it, I believe, I don't have it in front of me, but I believe it's, um, you, you hit menu, and then it's one of the three bottom menus. It, it's like setup, or it's, I think it's the setup menu. And then um, it, it's it's easy to Google and find out how to how to do this, but... It is important to note that you will have to change this on the SPDSX when you're downloading the driver. So once you've downloaded the driver and you go to download the Wave Manager, uh, when you have the SPDSX connected to your computer, it won't recognize that it, the computer won't recognize it unless you have the USB mode set back to Wave Manager in the SPDSX. So for the driver, you have to change the USB mode to Audio MIDI, and then for the Wave Manager. And for everything moving forward, you'll, you'll have to go back and set it back to Wave Manager in the SPDSX itself. Um, I can clarify this uh, further if, if, you, if you have any questions or are confused by that. Um, but other than that, um, then you can just open the Wave Manager. This menu will pop up. If there was an SPDSX attached, that would be the first thing listed here, and that would be what you hit OK on, and then um, the software pulls up. So, yeah, that sh you should be good to go. Let me know if you have any questions.